Samurai! Br- brought to you by uh, Sprite. Yes. Well, and PlayStation. Games. And PlayStation. What's up? Yeah, and your love guys. of dance. Just dance. Yeah. Howdy, y'all. What's going on, folks? Uh, Dennis over there. What's going on? That's him. I'm uh, making that noise. Yep, making that loud noise. <laughs> it's not really a loud noise. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I am Gerald, because that's my name that I was gifted. Cursed with. Um, <laughs> gifted a curse. <sighs> yep, so we just watched Step Up 3D. Yes. Step Up 3D. 3D, double D. And then that'd be triple D. <laughs> Which is like the thing in, in um, Triple Deke. Like in... Uh... Oh my god, what's the name of this dude? Mighty Ducks? Oh, the god, Deke, yeah, and then, you, yeah. and you, then, you, then you beat the Hawks. Yeah. Anyway, so this that movie... This movie, Step of 3D, it was a movie. It, it was, was an it, entire movie. It was a movie just with dancing and just they had parkour in it and they had Capoeira just out of nowhere and it was just this movie. I love this movie. <laughs> I do. I personally bought it so we could watch it because I love this movie. Also, it was like seven bucks, but. I, I think that it. helps. I think it helps that it's seven bucks. Yeah, if it was twenty five dollars, like, uh, 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 you wait till it's uh, in the bargain bin and you buy it on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah. Okay, so so there's. Uh, I know you've seen zero Step Up movies. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a, not a watcher of those fucking movies. Right, right. Uh, I have seen every Step Up movie. <laughs> What's the one with Chris Brown? Is, that's not Step Up. That's right? not a Step Up movie. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a dance movie, right? I'm sure it is. Oh, okay. You know they they. At this point in the step up, it movies, was like a whole okay, l- late nineties, early aughts. It was just that that era of like let's just do dance movies. It's like why? You know, the, just well, cause. Th- there was also drum movies. There was Stomp the Yard. There was the Drum Lines. There was what was Stomp the Yard? Stomp the Yard was a dance movie, but it was like Black Fraternity. That's yes. what it was. It was Stomp the Yard. Was Chris Brown in that? Yes. What did he, he play? dies. Oh, was he the brother? Yes. Okay, so he looks nothing like Columbus Short. Yeah, I know. Although they both have clearly problems with violence. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Columbus Short hasn't been in anything, because he just got, like, blacklisted. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you, like, repeatedly... Is he the one who stabbed the couch next to his girlfriend or wife? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Like, the last movie I saw him in was... The Losers? Yeah, well, but he was on uh, that Shauna Rhyme show. The one about the lady who fixes stuff for the president. Scandal. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, he was. Yeah, so I, I don't know if, I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he got Isaiah Washington. <laughs> hey, black people, stop getting yourself kicked off of jobs. Yeah. By being horrible human beings. Yeah. Anyway, so this, so like the Step Up movies are a long story in history, and I personally think Step Up Three D is the best, the pinnacle. It's it's the benchmark. It's it's what all the other ones are judged by to me. Because the first one, look, the first one's got Channing Tatum in it, and it was like, oh my god, this is a movie. And then he got his. That's this where he is met. where they they met the couple and yeah, they had it, kids, it, and babies. Him and his wife, they got some kids. She does. I don't. I don't know what she does. Yeah, she doesn't do shit. Uh, so and then push out his kids. No. <laughs> He's been in stuff. Yeah, he's been in a lot of... Yeah. Um, His career just jumps. Yes, and then we found out that he's funny. Yeah, he... He's he like, did, oh my God, Shane Tatum's funny. Yeah, he does comedy, and then he does serial... Oh yeah, he's serial. Serious roles like... um, What was that I just saw? Foxcatcher. That is a movie, sir. Did you just watch that? Yeah, I, I have didn't not, see I it. I have not seen it. Dude. That is just a weird, screwed up story. It's yeah, like, what? I, I, I basically know the story. Yeah, but it comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Like that part that yeah. I don't want to spoil for people. It yeah. comes out of nowhere. It's like, what? I mean, what? You, you don't have, don't spoil it, but it happened. Yeah, it's, it happened in real life. It's a real thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It happened. It's, it happened, was it 91 or something? It was in the 90s, uh, early 90s. Um, anyway, so the first one had, Ch- the first, and we're not talking about Foxcatcher. Yeah. The first Step Up movie had Channing Tatum, and it was like this much more, like, okay, let's, let's use a word that I should not ever use in a dance movie. It was much more grounded. Yeah. It was grounded, grounded for a movie starring predominantly white people set in Baltimore. Baltimore. But why? And the kid yeah. who has trouble with being in a street life, quote unquote street life, but really just like playing basketball, yeah. like hanging out with his friend who's black, is Channing Tatum. You don't know me, son? Like, yeah. What? It's weird. <laughs> um, so then he gets like a scholarship or something like that to this 
performance high school and then he goes to this performance high school and he meets the chick and they dance but it's like oh she needs classical dance she's classical dance and then but he he's uh this dude who just dances in the streets i don't know why he knows how to dance at all but he just starts dancing like at a it's really weird it doesn't make any sense she like sees him street dancing and it by the end of it they like put their dance moves together and they like blow the uh audience away at the dance recital or whatever mind blown yeah it's like that movie remember that movie uh it happened they played on channel uh on the w on the wb cw whatever all the time (laughs) where like she was a figure skater he was a hockey skater yes that freaking movie and they need to come together it's like that it's like that but like on wooden floors in a dance (laughs) studio with Channing Tatum and his wife. So no ice is involved and no skates? Gotcha. No gotcha. ice. Oh, and they kill a black child. <laughs> okay. They didn't do that in the 80s. They didn't need to do that in this well, movie. Well, in that movie in the 80s. That they, shit went down in real life in the they 80s. Didn't, they didn't need to do that in this movie either. Yeah. They just did it so that... Violence. So that, so that in the perfect non-racist <laughs> way, <laughs> we're, we're just going to like... We're going to have... Channing Tatum feels sad for other people by killing a black child. Oh <laughs> my god, no. That he's not related to. But this way we can deal with Channing Tatum's emotions. So, so he learns. They're like us. Like, yeah. oh god, Jesus. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Second movie comes around. They, uh, oh, but there's a uh, there's a girl that he knows. I don't know if they're like foster kids together or is something. They somehow knows this little girl who dances because she was from a Missy Elliott video. That's that girl. Work it, live it, work it. Right, which is not the song a child should be dancing to, uh, especially if it's like this is, flip it and what? What are we? Fl- what are we doing? Yes, what are we doing? Yes. What are we doing? This is not a thing a child dances to. Uh, anyway, second movie rolls around. Chain Tatum shows up for like five minutes in the beginning to do some weird dancing in a club that has, for some reason, has trampolines in the floor. That's not a health hazard, and people are just gonna like snap ankles. I don't understand it, but it happens. Yeah. He's like some kind of big wig now. I don't understand it. But anyway, he knows he his money. girl. He got money. He, he knows money. his girl from the hood. I don't know why she's white, because everybody else isn't white. But thankfully, her foster mother is black, because it's Kima from The Wire. I don't know why. Really? Yes, it's really weird. She's probably one of the only... That's, I was going to say she's the only black person in there, but that's not true, because Smile, who was in this movie, is in it. There's that black girl who's in it, too. I don't know her name. And uh, Cassie, or Casey, Cassie? Oh, that's right. She was in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... She was the problematic one. Was like, yeah, she was oh. the one that's starting shit. Well, no, it's like it's more like the the white dude who, because again, we have a movie set in Baltimore starring predominantly white people. Um, the white dude was dating her, and then she got jealous because the white dude uh, was a Hamlet's white girl. I don't know any of their names. Yeah, except dude. for Moose, who's in this movie. Right, Jewy Moose. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So don't be anti-Semitic, Dennis. <laughs> um, <laughs> Have you learned nothing from Donald Trump? Um, <laughs> no, no, I've learned nothing from Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, so so then Moose is introduced in the second movie, and this girl is introduced in the first movie, and that's why we are now here in this third movie where they are going to college together because somehow they yada yada the fact that these two people yeah, know each yeah, other. Yeah, he saw Saved by the Bell, the college years. He's like, yeah, I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah. in New York, yeah. going to New York, man, New from Georgia Baltimore because they wanted to get a safer city. <laughs> yeah, right. Gotcha. <laughs> so. Uh, so yeah, that's that's where they are, and um, we meet Moose in a park. Yeah, with his friend. It's not his girlfriend, but it's his friend and his parents. He just walks up and gets into a, a quote unquote fight, if you will. So it's it's a there is a there is a dance fight dance fight that is happening because no people knives. are uh, just moves somehow betting on a dance move. Yeah, there's thing a lot of weird betting in this. Till yes, until. Moose steps in as the next challenger, and what, then what, what? Oh my God! No. And then we're gonna put this in quotes. Wins the battle. Yeah, he clearly didn't win that. But shit. he clearly did not win that battle. But he won it, and for some reason, he gets the attention of some guy who's who he was chasing down anyway because he liked his oh shoes. Oh my God! You're just amazing. I just have to have you. It's like yes. well, what? And there's a guy who's basically like that weird teen character from uh, Stop American by? Beauty. From American Beauty, who's yeah. just like he's just. He's the kind of guy who will clearly just like video, like videotape a bag blowing through the wind, or it's somebody so he doesn't know dancing. Yeah. And I and I told, I told you, and for the audience, I told Dennis uh, before watching this as it was starting that you just have to process 
all the things that are happening in this movie as gang violence. As gang violence. When they are dancing, it is gang violence. They're just shooting and stabbing each other. There's blood all over in the streets. Yes. It is just a full on gang violence. Sirens. Brawl. You hear people crying and screaming, saying, Not my baby. <laughs> but there are also actual crimes in this movie. Because <laughs> yeah. when he finished the, the dance fight, Moose uh, blew off, like, I don't know, some kind of gas thing, like a high yeah, it was, it was a tank, tank yes. or something yeah, like that. Tank. And then. Let go all of these balloons, which is uh, literally it's a man's kill livelihood. kill a bunch of sea life. It's going to kill a bunch of turtles. Well, it's probably going to do that, which is not really a, a crime. It's just an ecological disaster. Right. So he committed an act of genocide. Yeah, but so many companies do that now. Yeah. All the time. Real Every talk. Day. Real talk. We got, we got real. Dude, dude, look. Just because this past uh, September has been the hottest September in record. Yeah. No, followed it's, it's by... Cool. Uh, the the General, August it's all right. that was the hottest of te- uh, August Jesus of is looking out for us it's, all it's right. fine anyway let's stop getting real and let's get <laughs> real about step of 3D anyway so, so what happened after that oh uh, they, he they, takes them back to his hideout which after is, they run from the cops they yeah. take him back to his hideout which is creepy comes off like he's gonna kill him but more like, importantly when, when he starts showing all his friends off yeah. this weird collection of Ethnic people yeah, that he's toys. somehow collected his toy collection. in his upstairs loft apartment. <laughs> yeah, in Brooklyn, um, by the way, it was Brooklyn. Yeah, of course it was real gentified. Of course it was. Well, to be fair, it wasn't because like he was. This he, was the pre, right? He, yeah. he was. There was like three white people in that loft. Yeah, there was. The rest were like black or Hispanic or, or Hispanic guess. or questionable. Yeah, or Aaron <laughs> Andrews' sister, <laughs> who is mighty attractive. Not just because of her red hair. No, no, it just it just draws attention to her attractiveness. That's yes, all. it's it's just like, amplifies. I'm just saying I don't have a fetish. No, you don't, because no, right? No, no, I don't. That doesn't work that way. It does not work that way, because if if uh, it just it just it's like it's like putting on Chinese desserts. <laughs> it's flavor enhancers. <laughs> You put the chocolate pudding on the dry cake, and which it makes we it discussed better. this in previous. Uh, I know we have. Yes, I know. Could not tell you which one. No, I think it was the last one, believe it or not. Might have been. Anyway, so he goes to this loft, and that's when the two twins, whom I love, yeah, they were kind of weird. They're kind of annoying. They are uh, super annoying, and I don't understand half the things they're saying. But what I love about them is two things. One, I still don't know if they have long braided hair. <laughs> Or just really long do rags. It, it, it comes off like it was a combination of both that swirled together. Yes, they this just braid it together. Yeah, 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 Every morning they braid it together. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? How are you gonna take the wave cap off? Oh, who cares, man? Yeah, it's fine. It's we great. don't take it off. We just staple it to our heads. Just get it. Man. Um, and and two, the thing that they say when we meet them, which is like, oh, we heard about the thing you did in the park in the morning. This is one hundred percent dark out by the time they get to this loft. You get that information that quickly. Damn. It wasn't that quickly because it was like eight hours later. I don't know why. I don't it know took they them. were driving around for eight hours. Don't know why. I don't. It, it, I don't know if they were traffic. driving. Around for, I don't. I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, they were yada yada. All I know is they were in the park and it was the morning. And by the time he got to the car, it was still daylight out. But by the time his car started moving, it was dark out in Times Square, which yeah. is not. I know a little bit about geography. Not in any way in Brooklyn. No. Jeez. So I don't know what they were doing. But it took all day. Maybe yeah. they got a lot of pizza. Like a lot of pizza. Jeez. Like so much pizza. And one of those big sodas that, that Bloomberg outlawed. <laughs> oh man, because it was 2010. Was, you could have those. Oh. I think. Yeah. So, uh. Is that wall still on the books? I don't know. I don't. It doesn't matter. It, yeah. Who cares? You don't need that much soda. Get two. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If I want to be a fatty, I can. So we have to take care of you with your diet bags and stuff like, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. getting real, Dennis. This isn't the real life. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> what happened next? What happened next? Oh, God. Oh, they, they said, oh, man, you you went against the samurai, which you now have to explain to the samurai, which is why I yelled samurai. Oh, and the black guy brought up about how they're behind in the rent. Oh, yeah. Black dudes say we're behind the red, which is why we established that. Which is why we establish yes. that this is a we need to dance to save the rec center movie. Yes, yes. And not just that we need to dance. There are several, by the way, I don't know if you know this because you haven't seen every Step Up movie. This is not the only dance to save the rec center movie in the Step Up franchise. I can't remember if it was the next there's one or the last set. No, no, there's just oh. more. There's 
There's this this step up 3D. This step up. I don't remember what the fourth one's called. <laughs> one of them's called like All In or something. Step up All In. Step and, like, up. And then like game. Revolution or something like that. Like uh, literally like half like half the cast up, just... from two shows up in three and four. And there's gonna be another one, I think. This Chang Tatum show up like I'm an old man. Chang Tatum's got better things to do. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a got father like, of twelve. He's got like, Moose shows up in every single one of these movies. After Magic the, Mike after the, XL, Magic Mike X, X is a whole Magic Mike. Well, to be Mike. fair, I think he was a producer, maybe Divide. a writer on, on XL. <laughs> he, he had a lot more creative control because uh, he, he could. Anyway, um, yeah. so yeah, so like they have to dance, save the rec center, which they do the weirdest math. Because look, I don't own a building in New York. I wouldn't want to either. It seems but, too much of a hassle. And yet, that awesome illegal loft housing seems kind of cool, but that's just because that yeah. might be because I watched way too much Highlander as a kid. <laughs> I like a big open space. I like the, I like the open, big open space with the with the freight elevator to get up and down. Yeah, because oh, you know if someone's trying to break in, you're gonna hear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are no stairs. You can't sneak into my no. apartment. <laughs> yeah, unless you can try to climb the cable like, like no. some psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> With the knife in your mouth. <laughs> this is this is a weird. Like, I can hear you. <laughs> you, just, you, just, you just take your you take your uh, katana. You just walk over to them. And you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so the the samurai samurai uh, exist, and they're like, dude, you beat them in the park. Again, I say air quotes. Uh, you beat them in the park. They're gonna come after you. Again, this is like I say, it's analogous to gang violence. Dude, you stuffed his boy. Yo, you stuff one of them gang members, man. Yeah. They gotta come after you, though. You can't let that stand. Well, here's my thing. How did the samurai get into the club? It's a club, man. You just let them in. I thought you got the shit unlocked. They're your enemy. You won't let your enemy into your fortress? Yeah, no, that's really weird. But they're, they're ninjas. <laughs> they said they were like ninjas. They yeah, didn't that's know what I'm saying. They should have played it as ninjas, because ninjas and pirates go together. Pirates versus ninjas. They don't go together. They often fight each other. Yeah, well, they're yeah. both... Backstabbers. That's all I'm saying. They're both just thieves. Yes. No. It's like it's like the Montagues and the Capulets. Except for in this movie, it's the Montagues and the Smiths. You're like, why are the Smiths here? Yeah. Just, just cause. Who is Tina Smith? She is not gonna drink that poison after me. Anyway. Yeah. You think that's too literary? You think people know? There's there's some people out there. I feel like I feel like that's for the. They, can, they catch on, they catch on. They, they saw that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio back in did like they, the 90s. Did they say that? No. no. There's a sing-along version now. People love it. <laughs> oh, Just tell her to, to move her fat self over and get on the damn door. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Come on, Leo. Stop dying in movies. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Dennis. Calm down. Anyway, so well, we're leading up to my favorite, mo- my favorite scene of this movie. My legit... <laughs> I bought this movie because I love this scene so much. Didn't you go to the theaters to see this? I did not go to the theaters to see this. Really? No, I never... remember you telling me about he rips it off and then the, the, the No, no, speakers. I've seen this movie before. Oh. I've seen it before many like, times. Because I remember we talked about, you t- you, well, you described the movie to me. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's legit stupid. But the point is, like, Moose is in the club because now they're in the club. Yeah. He's in the club. Hanging out in the club. Moose is like, I gotta take a piss. So he goes to the urinal to take his piss. But as he's going to the urinal to take his piss. First he off, as he's walking in. Almost but out, as, like, as he's walking in, yeah. dude just like jumped up into the rafters and just disappeared. I don't know if we ever saw him again. He might still be up there. Yeah, he's still just lurking. And then he just, you know, Moose is standing at the urinal, piece in his hand, sitting there with the bedangus out, banging against <laughs> the side thing, because you know he's got that Prince Albert. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I think the Prince Albert is the weird piercing in the front. I don't know. I don't know, just in the piece, you know, yeah. in the pedangus. Anyway, so, Dingus. black dude just rocks up, just ro- like just looking all angry and swole. You, we not done with samurai? He's like, what the hell? Yeah, and then he just rips off part of his jacket to speakers. reveal four speakers, two full sets built of speakers into the jacket. Just built, and then he pulls up his watch and basically hits play. And he's like, what the? Fuck? And then just starts dancing at him, just going but dancing. Here's my at him. thing. He never went to the restroom. No, he didn't. He never peed. Like well, he just held it. To be fair, I'm sure Moose just peed in his pants because <laughs> because of what happens next, which is dudes just start coming out of no. There's yeah, like they there's like four dudes from the rafters. They come out of the out of the out of the stalls like, out of nowhere. Like, what? This was clearly which, planned. Which let's let's be clear, they didn't know when he was gonna have to pee. No. 
So then the guys was like, you just stay there. Let's just wait on him. Just wait on him. We'll give you How you know he's going to go to the bathroom? We got guys everywhere. We got guys. Nin- we're ninjas, man. We always know. I thought we were called samurais. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's Don't fine. Worry They're like the antithesis of a ninja. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, because, I mean, because, you know, like, ninjas don't really have masters, they're like a, sa- they just do, but samurai, very much code of honor, it's the exact opposite of, and I keep saying this wrong, because what? ninjas, not, ninjas, it's not a thing. So, what is ninjas? What no, is there's no one? plural, nin- ninja is the plural, as well as the so singular. So, what's ninja, what is the singular? Same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, no. Ninjai. <laughs> no, no, just ninja. <laughs> People say, no, it's this ninja. No, are you sure about that? They are ninja. It just sounds racist when you say it. Yeah. Well, because it's, yeah, but... you just put on that accent, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, shut up. Anyway. Finish. But, you know, then they just dance at him. They just go at dancing at him. They're it's dancing like, hard, too. Yeah. Like, you, you might want to watch this. <laughs> like, but, but the best part is, like, the black dude... Like, Moose just tries to run out of there, and Black Dude stops him. And he's like, no, we're not done dancing at you yet. There's no fight. Yeah. There's no conflict. They, he, he theoretically beat his friend dancing in the street at the park, and they're going to come at him again by dancing at him. Where's the logic in this? There's no logic. There's no in logic. This. It's like they're every time they thrust at him, like his his <laughs> arm snaps, like ah, like I like gotta beat you magic, by dancing. Like some weird magic is going on where shit's just popping off. So, <laughs> it's oh like this God. is the worst dis- threat display in in the animal kingdom. He's like, nah, I'm gonna get down on my hand, and, like spin on the floor, and then I'm gonna like do the cartwheels. And you just like, step over him and just walk. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What is happening? I'm Why done. Is- Bye. This bathroom has no door to begin with. It's a bathroom too. It's fucking gross. It's a bathroom at a club, so you yeah. definitely don't want to touch oh, anything. God. You know what the thing is? That bathroom was wide open. Yeah. And that actually, bathroom, actually, if you walk past it, leads to other rooms, so you have to walk past it to get to those other rooms. You know, men, women, everyone wants to see you piss. I don't know. Maybe there's like a wall thing in front of us. You got to step behind the wall. The point is, maybe. though, the the hallway for that bathroom was very futuristic and like lit up and like awesome. And the bathroom was just gross. <laughs> Like the bathroom was like this is like yeah. this is like a club bathroom. It was, like, it was almost like a, a nice dressed up saw. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. It, like the, <laughs> like the, like the first one where they're in that room yes. and it changes the thing. Yes. Yeah. Not like the later ones where it's like hypodermic needles in a pit. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. But yeah. So like legit, that's my favorite part of the movie. It is great. It is awesome. And then after it spills out, the dance fight spills out into the club. It becomes a real fight. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. There's a woman. There's a there's a there's a white woman. Yeah, that first of all caught his attention. That's the reason why they went to the club. I'm sorry, caught his attention on his surveillance cameras. Because he was... owns the club, which is the club keeps the secret club alive. Keeps yeah. it afloat. The the nightclub keeps their <laughs> dance club funded. Yeah. Except for they're running out of money. Because obviously that club isn't really that popping that much. I don't you know. They got all this shit going on. Maybe because it's so well lit. You know, you like you know you people need to love. Dim the lights a little more. Got so. dim the lights so that people can just do bumps off the off the railings and uh, just off penises. <laughs> just do horrible things in the bathrooms. Yeah. Ugh, ugh, God, it's so bad in there. Anyway, um, but yeah, so he's, he, a the weird judo math that they did, which was um, there uh, was ten thousand dollar. Or hundred thousand dollars. Their hundred their hundred thousand dollar prize because ten thousand would be ridiculous. The hundred thousand dollar prize yeah. is somehow going to pay the six month back rent for their uh, building. The club is I don't know is the paying for the building or for the rent for the building or uh, I think it was both. Is very or maybe probably just the rent. It was because it was he claimed his parents owned the building or they had some ownership of the building at one yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's taxes. Maybe it's back taxes. Yeah. Doesn't matter. They need ten. Look, they Property need. Tax. They need to dance to save yeah. the rec center. And and to be fair, in New York prices, it's it would cost way more than that. It doesn't really yeah. matter. Yeah, we're talking about millions. It'd be the millions. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> especially in Brooklyn, and especially in a safe what? part of Brooklyn. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, but then he's up there, and they see this woman on the security cameras, and he's like, "Oh, this woman that I've been infatuating over for some time." I guess, and he just sees her on the thing. He's like, I have to go see her. I have to go talk to her. So they go down to the club. There's a dance fight and there's a brawl, and he snatches her up. Screw all his friends. They can all get sh- shanked in the club. Who cares? Screen, help me! 
he's no, gonna. Sorry, I, gotta, I gotta snatch up the puss. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna snatch him and then bring it to the photo booth. In which case, it starts taking photos for some reason, even though nobody put money in it. Here's the thing: they buttons. haven't introduced each other to each other. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like no, he it happens snatches, in the photo booth. He just snatches this chick up and this chick's all right with it. Like, oh no, but they 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 went to the pink light room. Oh yeah, and you know like, whatever happens in the pink light room. They they sat there. She yeah, danced, and he watched. With, like those four of the guys as witness. Yeah, it was, four it participants. Was, it, was, it was. I don't judge. It was real nine and a half weeks <laughs> up in there. It was. It was a little salty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because of all the sweat. Um, right. That was from exertion. Uh, yeah. So so then he's like, oh, it's kismet, love at first sight, whatever. And then he's like, what's with the bags? Why do you have bags? Which I didn't even know she had, but she had bags. I she didn't have bags. They just popped out of nowhere. It's yeah, like, yeah. I don't know why. Here, Maybe she was just keeping where, them in the photo where, booth. Where did you keep those bags? I don't she know. had them in the, stashed them in the photo booth. Okay. And he's like, uh, why do you have bags? Oh, it's supposed to meet a friend. Uh, it's supposed to be my place to stay. Uh, I don't have a place to stay. He's like, you can stay here, upstairs, in the in the in the living room, which it's a loft apartment. The whole thing is a living room, but that's fine. There's also like a like a, a foam pit and like a, a padded wall. Yeah, I don't know how who designed this was. Apparently, his parents. But um, yeah, yeah. And there's that part in the shit. floor where it dips down. Yeah, why? Like, don't know. They're not skateboarders. I don't understand it. Uh, but it's set up like it once was. Yeah, like maybe he before getting into dancing, yeah, no, he was a BMXer. It's or, a real, like, it's a real fantasy factory. Yeah, it's, a, it's like it's like Rob Deerdeck is like I built my my uh, New York expansion studio. <laughs> and I big black, I sent Big Black to stay over, but he like he had a kid, so he uh, he came back, and then I just let some random white kid who is I guess attractive uh, uh, take over. With his impressive stubble, I figured he's gonna make some moves, do some things. But yeah, yeah, but he apparently just uses it to dance. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do something real. He just decided to dance, yeah. and they get in dance fights. Anyway, so he brings upstairs because you know, and they like spend the night, and then they're up, and then parkour dancing. And everyone agrees to sign on to their crew so they can go on the World Jam Dance Festival. Which they only had three battles, by the way. If this is the World Tournament. Well, to be fair, they had three battles, but there were other battles. Clearly, there was like a Apparently. Danish flag and like other flags. Yeah, there were all these other flags, but you never the, saw anything. At the end, we never oh, saw, no, we never see any of the other competition. No. This is okay. I'm also going to admit another thing. I watch these kinds of movies for no good reason. Although I did not see Drumline Two, and I did not see Stomp the Yard Two. I didn't know they had a two to. They are straight ones. to DVD. They don't uh, fly. There's no Columbus they had short. No, yeah, there's, there's, there's no there's no Nick Cannon Columbus short. Didn't happen. I think I think Drumline Two stars stars is a woman who stars in I don't know. Hmm. Sorority edition. No, it was Drumline. This 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 is the. Oh, uh, I said you said the stomp the yard. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't know. What stomp the yard is. I, it doesn't matter. It's stomp the yard. It's a whole bunch of like stepping, <laughs> like I don't know, more dancing and some, but just very black. Um, yeah. But I've watched I've I I've watched uh, several Bring It On movies. I think. There's like one or two I haven't seen, and there's one I've seen most of, which is uh, Shark vs. What is it? Uh, shark vs. Jets. Because it's literally the sharks and the jets. Really? Yeah. Wow, uh, how I, original. Yeah, well, they're, I mean, they kind At of this dance point, fight too. Y- yeah. The point is, though, look, I've never seen the end of West Side Story. Yeah, I don't know how that ends. Yeah, because I don't know. I always thought it was a play on um, Romeo and It is Romeo and Juliet, Juliet, which is like the third time that's been referenced (laughs) Um, (laughs) in this podcast. Um, But uh, it's, I've never seen the end of it, so what I'm saying is I don't know if they poison each other. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. It was the 50s. I feel like especially. There were some fake Puerto Ricans in that. Yeah, they were very strangely brown. (laughs) Um, But I feel like, I feel like that movie, it, it wouldn't end in poisoning, but definitely like a shiv. You know, there's a knife involved somehow. There probably was, and they did that fake fifties acting where they're like, Ugh, and uh, they just like fell down. Yeah, like, that that doesn't play. You went and did what? No, that's not what happens when you get stabbed. <laughs> yeah, no, but the, okay. So the best part about that was I've seen that movie at least twice. Only the first part of it, both times because they made me watch it in school. That, yeah, that's the only time I've seen it. I never willingly sat and, there and, and watched it. And like those movie times in school, they never get to the end of the movie. No. Although it is weird how we watch The Matrix. In school, because that's an R-rated movie. Um, no wonder that teacher got fired. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just watch the Matrix. It's cool, whatever. I mean, I'd already seen it, but it's not yeah. the point. You're not 
supposed to play R-rated movies. We, whatever. I guess she wasn't really giving a fuck this week. This week. Yeah, probably not. Um, again, fired. Um, what was I talking about? What's, where was I? Oh, we were at the part where... Uh, fuck, I don't know. I was some... Uh, oh, no. Well, okay, the point I was getting to was that in the Bring It On... Sharks vs. Jets. At some point, yeah. they all suffer great injuries because they of the brawl. The jarts, and right? they can become... Uh, yeah, uh, is it the Jarts? Jerks. No, they become the Shets, I think. <laughs> and then different factions break off, so it's the Jarks versus the... The yeah. Shets? Yeah. Um, yeah, I never saw the end of that one. And it's just like, okay, we need to stop. Let's the last stop one I saw, these fucking things. The last one I saw had Kristen Amelia on it. I'm not going to explain why I saw that. I feel like I you think you just did. Out. I think you just did, my friend. I feel like you figured out. <laughs> um, anyway, but like all these movies, they're basically the same. They follow a similar track. And it's like, oh, yeah. And then uh, the competition is usually just like these two people and these two people. Pitch Perfect is like the exact same thing. It's like, oh, we're going to go against these people. So we have to get these people and then these people. And then it's like, ah, oh, we win or we lose. Yeah. There's twists in there sometimes. Um, oh, what? But 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 you still managed to save the rec center. Like how? You guys lost. Yes, but uh, but Moose is also trying to have uh, a school career in this career that he's supposed to. Because that's why he's there. He's not supposed to dance. He's not really supposed to dance anymore. So I gave it up. Right. He's sitting there with his with his uh, soon to be girlfriend. Spoilers. <laughs> it works out. <laughs> not even for this movie. It works out in this movie, but also in future movies. Um, because she's also in future movies. Um, yeah. So, but the whole point is, uh, he's trying to do this thing, and then it's like, oh, they realize they're actually not just best friends, but also they're in love. And then there's this whole other thing where the um the blandly pretty people also find out that they're in love, in love. And there's a bunch of training montages and dancing. Yeah. Um, and then there's a bunch of disappointment. Uh, because they disappoint each other. Look, let's get over this really quickly, okay? Because there's not a lot to this movie. <laughs> really, um, really isn't. Uh, Moose screws up. His name is Moose, but he's a very small man. Here's the thing. There's a guy in TNA called Moose, big black guy. Big, intimidating black guy. Yes, I kind of figured that. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, it's a weird cognitive dissonance happening right. in my head. Anyway, so Moose uh, screws up multiple times. Right. Uh, and, uh... Let's sound his uh, friend slash girlfriend. Uh, yes. And like lets her down several times, and, and then there was a point where the girlfriend slash friend uh, almost goes to the other team, starts playing for the other team. It's subtext. No, subtext. I think she just she there's just, some subtext there. Joe. I feel like she just has a friend that almost pushed her to the L side. I don't think so. I think you're making <laughs> made, this up. Made the L train. You look, I'm not going to sit here. Look, train? I haven't been in college for a while. I can't speak to what it is to be people who go to college anymore. Right. So maybe. Maybe that happened. I'm just saying there's some shit that was there. <laughs> Look. That was like, what? what the hell is this? You can try whatever you want, and there's a time and a place for that. It's, it's called college. college. <laughs> Clearly, she was trying to try it. It's the one of the times that Chef was right. <laughs> uh, I miss Chef. Yeah, well, he's no longer with us. In many ways. Well, yes. A, because Isaac Hayes is dead, and B, because they killed me. Mercilessly killed him. So horrible. Then they brought him back, and then they killed him again. Yes. Um, yeah, but anyway, so he disappoints her. He's supposed to dress up as Mary Kate or Ashley Olsen, one of the Olsen twins. Totally like blows that off to hang out with his homeboy and go to some fancy dinner, yeah. a dining ball party thing. Whatever. Oh, we oh we, we didn't reveal or did we? That not was yet. at the party. We, right? we drop the hammer on the fact that this broad chick lady is actually. The full-blooded, no habsies on this, sister of the leader of the Samurai. Yeah. Who, by the way, used to be part of the pirates. Used to be a pirate. Now he's a Samurai. And what was the the whole thing why he left? Uh, He threw a competition. Yeah. He's like, nah, son. Because he wanted to make some, he bet on the opposite and made some money off it. He wanted to make some money, sorry, dude. Yeah, stick with yeah. The pirates. Got no integrity. But if I'm a pirate, don't I have no integrity? <gasps> oh, because oh, you're pirates. pirates. Dang, nab it. <laughs> we may have not done this correctly. Um, yeah, so that that happened, and it was a bombshell, and the guy room got real sad. He's like, she let me down. Man, I loved her, and she was I a I have player. my wingus in you. My wingus. 
which we don't know what happened, but it totally happened. But it there's totally no proof. Happened. There's no yeah. evidence that it happened. Because this is PG-13, it 13, right? I don't know what it is. Yeah. It 100% happened. Oh, it happened. It happened. There's some sounds. There was people like, this is a loft. We hear you. Could you at least keep it down? For some reason, take it outside I don't the fucking roof. I don't understand why you're sleeping in a tent in yeah. a house. Like it's a building. Why yeah. are you in a tent? We are it's, hearing you. It's very strange. There are all no around. walls. <laughs> and you didn't have to unzip the windows. That's really weird. That's insult to injury right there. You guys have to hear this. <laughs> I like to share everything. <laughs> They have a wall of speakers. Actually, it's a wall of boomboxes because uh, it was a born, born of a boombox. Yes. It's his motto for people. He was born of a boombox. Which is box. also the name of the, the DVD or whatever. He wrote. Yeah, that's, documentary. His, that's, his, that's his film. Oh, sorry. This entire movie starts out with a crappy documentary I film. I think we kind of let it that he was like the guy from um, American Beauty. Yeah, but he's, he's videotaping all his friends. They're saying stuff about their dancing. I don't know why. Um, he's a filmmaker. I probably shouldn't be so hard on him as a guy who's definitely directed stuff. Um, yeah, you're kind of critical watching this. Like, what? Come on. Come on. She said his his footage was amazing, and I and you're said like, it's subpar. I, <laughs> <laughs> and he could he could use some work. How about you use some fucking filters? Something. <laughs> yeah, like use some Instagram filters or something like that. Just what are you doing? Is an iMovie? What is this? What is this? It's more of the. Um, is the it's 2010? You can get a you can get a camera that shoots in 1080. It's clearly not because it's a smaller frame than yeah. the, the rest of the movie. I understand it's a story device so that we know that he's shooting on video. Still, yeah. not the point. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, the world's blown apart, and they've had to dance against some dudes. Then there was the Asian dude. There was the black dudes with the chains. They beat them with all that asbestos. Yeah. Hanging around in the uh, in that like warehouse. clearly warehouse that was abandoned, they just kicking all this asbestos everywhere, all throwing it all over each other. Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's then, <laughs> you have to name it. Anyway, <laughs> then they had to beat the Asian dudes in what looked like an Asian hotel or restaurant that they shut down. Yeah, and there, oh, here's the thing: there's gambling because why? They're Asian. Because this. See, we, I would say this movie was 100% racist, except for, in that regard, the guy who directed it is uh, John Chu? Chu? Mm-hmm. C-H-U. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess, I guess not, not racist? Yeah, he's just like, oh, it is what it is, man. People gamble. Especially my people. Uh, he didn't say that, but he meant it. <laughs> yeah, because we we have seen zero evidence of him saying anything. Uh, yeah, so then there's like just a bunch of disappointments. And uh, by the way, John Chu, John M. Chu, oh, man, what else? He's also directed. Oh, that's uh, I don't know, Dance Camp. He's a producer on that. These are producer credits. Is that the YouTube thing? I have no idea what it is. Then, despite the fact that I've seen literally every Step Up movie. I I don't I don't really know anything about dancing, nor do I actually participate much in the dance. Mm-hmm. Anyways, this dude has directed the Lord of the Dance. Nope, nope. Well, you know, I often don't know what to do with my hands. Um, but I still, <laughs> still no, no. Uh, kick, kick, he, kick, kick, kick. he directed Step Up Two: The Streets, Step Up Three D, obviously. Uh, the lead. Wow, did he? Did he actually... The Legion of Extraordinary Dancers. Wow. That's a TV show that he was involved in for several seasons. Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. Justin Bieber's Believe. I feel like this should be Believers, but it's just Believe. Believe it! Uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Yeah, that's a weird shift, I know. Oh, wow. I know, I know, I know. Weird, especially since Gem and the Holograms. Oh, that movie that no one watched. Now You See Me Too. I've never seen that. Yeah, the first one was alright, as long as you, like, throw logic at a... At a you throw logic your logic crystal yeah. that is made out of glass and throw it directly at a brick wall, then that movie might be fine. Yeah. It just might make sense. It's it's But as a movie, it's fine, just don't think. Yeah, that's why they just refuse to think. Because at first they're like, "Oh, magic's not real." Oh, magic's real. What? Yeah, but what? It, yes, but anyway. So, uh, so then they they uh, there's more dancing. Uh, Moose uh, drops out of his math or whatever test. 
either he finishes English. it real quick. Oh no, nah, you're it was about, like circuitry or something like that. Right. I don't know. He was even he, though on the board it said like English at eight p.m. No, it said E N G, which might be engineering. Oh, I thought yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway, so he 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 either leaves his class without finishing his tests. Or finishes his test in record time. Because thankfully, this dance competition, there's no one else. There's, yeah. no, there's no one else that we all oh, we need to wait. We're, we're, like, we're like fifth in line. No, it's just one, one group and the other group at this, at this Asian place. Yeah. In what it turns out to be this weird fountain. Because what happens is Mu shows up as they're dancing and they're not doing so well. And he, hits and he accidentally lever. hits a lever and c- turns the water on. And then they just dance in the water as they dance, fight in the water. As the water's going everywhere. Here's the thing about that. The Asian team seem to be really not that good in the water. Yeah, no. Well, they're not a water-based people. <laughs> what is it, sand? Like what? No, no. It's clearly known that, uh, that Asians are, are, are not known for, for fishing or being in the water, clearly. Yeah, because, you know, despite, rice patties Despite are... the fact that that's just not true. Yeah. I was going to say, What? <laughs> Um. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. They flounder because they need to for story purposes. Uh, also, maybe maybe call an audible. I guess you know maybe not stacking yourselves like a pyramid. Is, yeah. What the hell was that? that I don't know like why you do that ever. when you're literally covered in water, in yeah. like your like nylon blend shirts. Like it's <laughs> this is just gonna get slippery real yeah. quick. Anyway, but yeah. So uh, so they beat them and they do the cool water dance thing, which is just. What they did in the last movie, in the rain, they did a water dance thing. Which, yes, looks cool. Yeah. I get it. But, John Chu, you just copied yourself. <laughs> you did a full-on J.J. Abrams, Brian Singer, every other uh, director I feel like rests on their laurels, and just copied. Something yeah. Else. What are you going to do? Anyway, um... More dance fighting, more actual fighting. Not really. But, like, you know, she she leaves the group, she leaves the thing, she goes off and does whatever. I need to find myself right now, because I'm but, in a weird place. Uh, Moose makes up with his with his lady friend by doing a uh, Fred weird, Astaire dance in yeah, the street. Yeah, 3D... No, it's real weird, because, again... He goes to the ice cream truck and says, turn off the song. This old song that is like, this was the song we played the first day we met. That's weird. Is it, what, I don't... Were you at, like, some weird revival or something? Yeah, I didn't... Because it's... What, you figure it was 50s, I think? 50s, 40s? Something like that. Yeah. And they start dancing yeah, after getting some weird lip from this small child. <laughs> this small Asian chick is like, like, get out of here! Like, don't cut! You can't cut! What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, they go just dancing, yeah. running through a cab. They steal a black man's hat. Uh, and he's like, hey, give my hat back! And he just leaves. Like, Way after the fact. He, like, yeah, and they also never give the hat back. No. He straight up does a does a crime. <laughs> he steals. Look, what I'm saying is, in this movie, if you really think about it, Moose is kind of this like terror on on people. Like he steals hats. Oh, and was cuts the, lines. the black lady with the hose? So, like she was watering something. Yeah, no, they were straight up. They took off her garbage cans yeah. and started banging up the. Look, they're just banging up the. Like, first off, I don't know why she steals metal. It's 2010. Why do you steal metal trash cans? I'm pretty sure the WWE just took them all, you know. But <laughs> yeah, they just no, went, yeah. And they just like they put the can- the lids on their feet and just like stomping on them, yeah, like, like this weird tap dancing shit. Yeah, but you're ruining them. And then and then she sprays them, and what they do? They throw them. Yeah. In in the street. Oh, we're then done. there's like I'm... guys moving furniture in, and they're like touching interrupting them. And then they take these kids' scooters and move like five feet. Drop them and run up. The th- yeah, and run up the stairs. And do some more dance stuff. Yeah, it's like what? it's like guys. This is a long metaphor for the two of you just having sex. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. It's weird. It's like it's like just it's like just read. They had and then the relations. weird thing at the end. He takes the branch and shakes it so leaves fall on her. Like I said, all her face. Like and I chest. said, I feel like you're which not- is like ew. <laughs> what you think about is like ew. Like really? I said, it's a metaphor for their. Their sex. You know, yeah, yeah. They just had their sex. You know, it probably wasn't meant to be, but totally is. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like that scene in uh, uh, Repo Men. 
when they're like sticking their hand in each other and yeah they're, oh, pulling they're, their like, organs they're like out. they're like uh repoing their parts yeah and it's, it's like, like okay this is weirdly sexual oh it is and it's so gross because it it, they focus on like their face and the face is like pleasure yeah. and, but it's like okay but it's clearly pain right and it's like this should be pain but you're reading it as pleasure and it's like ah uh, and and i'm conflicted because it's alex braga i'm like how do you not be conflicted about that yeah yeah i saw like well not every movie she was in that would just be weird uh <laughs> you know i saw predators city of god yeah uh um that one with matt damon where he clearly should have been mexican oh. elysium yeah elysium it works so much better if he's hispanic it works so much better. Why is he a white guy? If they could have said he was half like Hispanic. No, just get a non-white guy. They're not going to. I know they're not going to, but they should have just got it. It's funny. Mexican. He's not the only Brazilian in that. I know. Yeah. Because they got the guy who plays Pablo Escobar, who's actually Brazilian. I can't think of his name right now. I don't know his name. Yeah. But yeah, Narco. Now, yeah, yeah. It's 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 weird. But yeah, they're just playing Mexican. Well, they shot that in Mexico City, but then they're just like, oh, you're Hispanic. Well, kind of. Well, yeah. not really, because we don't speak Spanish, but that's cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, but no. Yeah, because um, that's funny, because they were talking about in Narco how he actually had to learn Spanish. Like, I don't know Spanish. Like, I don't yeah. speak Spanish. Like, I speak it's, Portuguese. Yes, yeah, like, so it's, it's, it's a different language. Yeah. Similar root, different language. Mm. Uh, but yeah, so so then they make up, they have weird dance sex in the streets. Uh, and then, and then uh, oh yeah, and then they got evicted. Dude got evicted out of his lost yeah. apartment thing. And uh, the bank people are like, we don't care. He's like, you know what? I'm going to fight for it. He's like, well, you can do what the fuck you want. We're going to fight for it. And the people just bounce out of the, like, oh, I'm done. Wow. Oh, what yeah, there was two traitors, two people who just left. It was like, oh, uh, well, yes. Yeah. The, there's a girl who, who we don't know yeah. who just looked angry all the time. Because <laughs> uh, she wasn't getting any. We and, all yeah, know why. Yeah. It bangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then there was the Hispanic dude who seemed like the lieutenant. Yeah, he's within, like, I'm out. And he's like, nah, man, I'm out. And then he becomes a lieutenant on the other side. And he's just like, I did this for you. How is joining the other team doing this for us? I don't understand it. I yeah. don't understand it. Anyway, but um, they get evicted, and then he goes and gets a day job. I love how, like, his skills are, like, I don't know, somehow his parents are terrible parents. This main dude, you know, main yeah. attractive chisel dude. Like, his parents are terrible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, he sits there, he has a building, he runs a nightclub, he needs a new job, waiter. Yeah. Like, he At ran... a diner, too. It wasn't like a... Yeah. Like, he ran a dancing nightclub. You have a resume. Yeah. You owned a club. You ran a club. Granted, you ran into the ground. Yeah. But I'm sure there are people who will give you a job running a club into the ground. Find some people. Yeah. Become a bouncer. You're Jake. You're, just, you're, you're all chiseled up. Just, you know, just t- take that dude, that thing that weird people do when, like, um, when they just want to show off their abs. So you take a regular t-shirt, and you take the front of it, and then you put it over your head. So you're like, you're somehow still wearing a t-shirt, but not. But it's just like over around your arms. Like, yeah. why are you doing Just take it off. Yeah, I don't get that. Just take it off. I don't get it. Anyway, so, but he's just for some reason in a diner. Just working in a diner. Neglecting his job. Yeah, there's one guy waiting for coffee for like 35 minutes. How do you wait for coffee in a diner for 35 waiting. minutes? Yeah. The is the coffee worst that part good? Is, is like see, crack? The, wor- the worst part is there's more than one server there. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, I want the boy to do it. It's like, whoa. Yeah, this okay. is getting some weird territory. Yeah, ooh, okay. this is some, This is some weird... I want him to do it. It's like, ooh, okay. All right, Kurt Schilling, calm down. <laughs> I don't want to be topical, but... Yeah. Kurt Schilling did just say some stuff about some children. It was yeah. very uncomfortable. So we all think it's like, yeah, we may all think it. Well, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> but even if we did, you don't tell people. Okay? Look, all I'm saying is, if you can hear this, just go find Kurt Schilling's interview on like Fox News, Fox, Fox Business News, Fox Business News, and watch it and feel super uncomfortable. Yeah. So uncomfortable. So weird. We, we all do it. We all do it. Don't Every, lie. Like, don't lie. Just, we all do it. Just have a personal filter decision. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, um. Uh, so yeah then they get the band back together for some strange reason because Moose found his love like that's the only thing that motivated that right. there was nothing they go like oh we can we can do this uh, because we're we're good at something no he's like dude quit they got kicked out from the only thing they wanted to save was right. their building they lost their building and they still want to win the hundred thousand dollars for I don't know what <laughs> they just want to win I don't know why he's gonna win he's gonna win 
Anyway, so they bring the crew back together, and what? We got people from the old movie, which means absolutely nothing to you, because you didn't watch no, it. No, you had to explain it. It's like, and, well, they explain it, too. It's like, oh, here's people from the second movie. Yes, yeah, so well, you kind of have to explain why this, like, why why Moose just rose up to, like, Coney Island and just knows this Asian girl. Like, they've been, like, they've, like, oh, yeah, she, they just know each other. Like, oh, okay. Because we oh, never you moved up here. That's cool. Because like, the thing is, like, they never established Coney Island in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> like they never talk about it. They never show it until right at the end. I'm assuming it's Coney Island. Yeah, I assume that's. I mean, it's broken. Bro- bro- yeah, bro- I assume. Um, that. So yeah, and then it's like for some reason. Okay, let's be clear that the second and first movie take place in Baltimore. So this woman was living in Baltimore when she was going to this performing school. Right. For some reason, she now works. After graduating, one would assume, a performance school for dance, she went to work as a carny. Yeah. Where she takes care of people's kids. Who work. Who at, work uh, yeah, at, at, yeah. At, on the booths and whatnot, running the coasters. How hard can you fall? <laughs> How have the mighty have fallen? She wasn't that mighty. She was just like, uh, you went to school for this and then you did... This other thing. In her head, she was mighty, all right? Because she doesn't realize that she has a fucking heavy accent, okay? Yes, that's also true. She's She's got a very heavy what accent. What accent? What? What? I don't know what you're well, talking the two about. two guys who are the twins who are from, I don't know. Question mark, Hispanic area? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Uh, or French. Could be French. You don't know. Yeah, Black guy's can't... French. Yeah. <laughs> the other, there's a lot of accents in this. Like I said, he likes to collect, min- he collects minorities. like <laughs> like the Pokemon. <laughs> and, and, catch them all. and effectively his house is like a Pokemon gym that's what he does he trains yes. them up then he goes and puts them against other things this dude is ass he was catch pre Pokemon Go era it's yeah pretty, it's pre Pokemon Go but post Pokemon so everybody knows who Ash Ketchum is by the way <laughs> Ketchum spelled with a K who knew Yeah, I had to look it up because I made a joke on, on, on Facebook <laughs> about Avatar I know it doesn't make any sense to anybody listening to this suffice to say it made a lot of sense for like a brief second in the video that I shot six years ago. <laughs> there was a dude in Avatar mech. There was a there was a guy dressed as Ash in front of him. That's all. That's all. That's all. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So they get the band back together. They they get some, some reservists from the second movie. They learn to dance in the back alley of a Coney Island. Again, at this point, we've lost the building. We've lost the building. Right. What are so we it's doing? in limbo right now. It's in limbo, whatever. They've foreclosed on it. They kicked you. If they evict you from it, they don't just go like, oh, you paid $100,000? Oh, you have that. Why? That's like a down payment, I guess. Yeah, they, they, no, you, you can buy it again. That's what you can do. You can't, I don't, I don't, look, I don't know that much about real estate laws. I'm pretty sure there's somebody asked about this. like when a building gets repoed by the um, bank. bank, that they have to auction, well, sometimes they auction it off. Yeah. Because that was a plot device in Shameless, which I watched. That was a plot was... device in this movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As this guy was like, oh, they're going to auction off your stupid tetanus-infested dance club. That's right. Get hostile. AIDS, <laughs> herpes. Hepsi. Don't forget the Hepsi. Oh, yeah, the Hepsi son. Um, but yeah, so uh, then they have their final battle. Yeah. Against the Samurai. Who would have thought it would have been Samurai they go against? Samurai. I don't know, because that's just the formula of the movie. This is how it goes. The bad guy? Yeah. Boss level. Yeah, Kirsten Dunst had to go against Gabriel Union. Just how it has to be. Yep. That one turned out differently. Um, Because the right people won. (laughs) In both situations. Right. Just just, just shut up. Anyway. (laughs) um, Yeah, so they they do the dance-off. They're dancing. Oh my god! And by the way, could you tell who was winning? Until Somewhat. until until it actually they actually was like we're winning. No, no. Into the because the like, big light show. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, no. not even before, yeah. Before then, because before then it's just like the dancing, and then the other ones dance, and then they dance, and then the other ones dance. Yeah. And they like even the oh. crowd's like oh, okay. Yeah, they're all about the same level, and at the end, and and the the pirates like oh man, we're blowing this, and I'm going like how can you tell? I couldn't tell. No. Then again, I thought the Asian dude beat Moose in that stupid 
park fight in the beginning <laughs> of the movie. He clearly did. He crushed him. The samurais won the first battle, and it was stolen from them, so they were wounded their pride. Because because it looked like, in that, in that park dance in the beginning of the movie, it looked like Moose was having spasms. It didn't look like he was dancing. No. It looked like he couldn't control his body. Because clearly the two actors have different ant- I mean, dance methods. Like, they're whole different genres. Yeah. Like, it's just crazy. Yeah. It, anyway, so then what happened uh, was uh, Chick came back. He's like, oh, I'm sorry about everything that I did because I'm a You're horrible garbage human family. being. What? You have a family, and, I, and your family's better. You chose your family, and they play some videos to that effect or whatever. And then, <laughs> and then uh, I don't know. I'm remembering this way out of order. Um, the point is, is, then she decided to dance with them. Yeah. And they knew they were going down and it was going bad. And then they did the light show and then they won. And then there was little kids because they had baby but awards. But we're forgetting some, some pieces where uh, they when she stepped up and started dancing for them, the brother was like, no, you can't do this. You you can't do this. And he's like, no, I'm with them. And she says, you're a samurai. He's like, they're my family, not you. Yeah. Which basically means she just disowned her brother publicly. What? Yeah. Publicly. I'm sure she still wants her, her parents' uh No, he's going to go back and take the knife and just super cool. <laughs> wow. He looks like he should kill himself. <laughs> he looks like his, his... There's something about his chin. He looks like he listens to 9-11... Uh, 9-11. 3-11. Oh, 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 <laughs> like, still, like it's new. <laughs> he, just, he just looks like a real obnoxious dude. I was going to say he was bumping Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninjas, but I like that song. Yeah. Like, a lot. Mm. Uh, but you know he's still he's still a bit he's a big lost prophet fan. You can tell by his earrings. He's a problem. Yeah, yeah, he's a prophet. problem. It's like a hard thing to talk about nowadays. Why? Because the lead singer was involved in kitty porn. That is true. Yeah. Still, Shinobi vs. Dragon is a great song. <laughs> it's a good song. I didn't yeah. it, look. The, as far as I know, there's no hidden messages the, about like yeah kids. About, yeah, yeah. Of that. Yeah. Nothing Jesus. there. Jesus. So you know. Look, there are many people who are still going to vote for president despite the fact that this man basically said he would totally date a 10-year-old. Yeah. Well, he didn't say it like that exactly. I'm slightly mis- I can't wait till you get old enough. You're looking prime now. So, let's oh, put it this uh, way. Let's put it this uh, way. He's not sitting there going like, I'm going to date this 10-year-old. What he's saying is, I'm plotting that in several years, because I like the way you look right now, because he's not about substance, I'm clearly, thinking about dating you. Clearly. Very, very impressive. No, he didn't say impressive. Tremendous, guaranteed. Uh, anyway, so there's like a brawl, and they break it up. They pull them apart, whatever, and they dance more. They just dance, and then uh, and they come out with their secret weapon. After it's like, oh my god, it's like a dead heat. How could we ever beat them? Uh, or it turns out we'll just uh, crush them. We'll just destroy them. Which actually makes you wonder why he was worried in the beginning. It's like, oh man, we're blowing this. It's like you ha- you know what's happening at the end. You know what the end of this you is. You clearly you plan for it. So why are you like, oh man, this is some straight up Barry Allen BS. I hate the show The Flash, and one of the reasons why I hate it is that The Flash. He always needs his little ego stroke. Like, he, come on, you can do it. Someone come to on, say, I him. believe in you. You can do this, Barry. Run. That's Barry. the same thing in Supergirl. So it's like this running theme. Yeah, no, it's a Berlanti problem. Although Arrow doesn't seem to do this, but he was just a mass murderer. Yeah. He was just a murderer. Like Arrow's just badass. Hey, man. he's back to killing, kind of. That's a thing. Arrow's in the chest, huh? Yeah, he's just going around just killing, just murdering <laughs> fools. Why? Uh, well, you know, spoilers for, for Arrow <laughs> uh, for the next, like, 30 seconds. Uh, well, Laurel died, and now he's like, oh, man. If if I killed said guy, then Laurel would still be alive, so... Who's Laurel? Katie Cassidy. Really? They killed her off? Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry. Black Canary, Dennis. There we go. Okay. <laughs> His wife. In comics. In the comics. But there was two Black Canaries. That's what confuses me. Well, yeah, but the Laurel, whatever, she's the one that was the wife. Mm. Are we talking about in the show, two Black Canaries? Yeah. Because that was the sister. Yeah, okay. She was never really, and now she's a white canary. Uh, okay. On Legends of Tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so what else happened? That's it. They all went their separate ways. Oh, yeah, and, then, and then, of course, they do a light show. Yeah. Crazy light show where it gets me the problem that I have with all these movies is that the end, the, the good guys clearly cheat to win. Because <coughs> they always break the rules. Yeah. 
a light show. What the? Or, or yeah, or they go just so far beyond like what anybody else was expecting to do. They're like, what? You can't. Or like you know, like when they have things like uh, this is a competition thing and it's a time thing, whatever. But for some reason, the the other team, they get like a way longer amount of time. Yeah. Like. Or they, they get below the clock. Or yeah, or they just they get like some crazy amount of tech that they get to use or something like that, and you're like. I don't know if this is cheating, but it feels really unfair. Yeah. And it happens in, like, like all of these movies. It's insane. But, like, even Drumline, it's like, is this, can you do this? There's a point they do something with powder in Drumline, and you're like, aren't you at a football game? What's happening here? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, they're, uh, they're, they're just, they just, this movie is amazing for so, oh, and, and then he goes off to film school, and, uh, and there's that part in in the in the train station, which is really weird because uh, everyone shows up, but they don't tell him that they showed up. Yeah. So he's like, w- w- "What the hell's going on?" So, uh, effectively, like, a that girl left to go to California and was going to say, despite the fact that she said these people are my family, she was going to leave and not say goodbye to one of them. Well, clearly, if she's willing to leave her brother, which is her actual family, right? Who she will drop the mic on like right. that? Like, I don't so, care about you. Complete stranger. She's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, you're my family." And then just leave. And just, just bounce. <laughs> just like, nah, I don't need this. Family doesn't mean anything to her. No, she's it's a like saying movie. hi, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, well, we're going to get to the fact that she, like, totally had sex with her family, if you think about it. Because she said that they're her family. Yeah. And she totally banged that and dude. And I totally fuck family, which means that she fuck her brother. <gasps> Did she? What? Did she? No, he's got, his face is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I would, Brian, but no. <laughs> Uh, but okay, so the pro- the thing I found funny about this movie, like personally, is that clearly uh, <clears throat> it's like the studio mandates that we have to have these kind of generic looking attractive people be the stars of the movie, yeah. so that they are the ones that we focus on, so we can put them on the poster. But I feel like the people who wrote this movie really just wanted to tell a love story about Moose and the girl from from the first movie. Yeah, and the studio was like, yeah, that's not going to work. You're like, no. Nah. We need people in the seats. We need people we can put <laughs> on a poster. We need someone tall and muscular. We need someone with abs. That's important. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like this weird push and pull. Because like, cause I remember the first time I watched this movie, I was A, you know, this girl with the red hair, I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy it. She needs more speaking role. Yeah, she's visually pleasing. She also needs to be in this movie more. Yeah. Like, just have something so where just, she gets oh, to talk. Oh, she's his background. No, no she's not background. <laughs> Uh, she deserves better. And B, I felt like I don't care about these main two, the ones, you know, the pretty ones. Yeah. I don't care about their relationship at Can all. You just move over? Oh, th- yeah, but, thanks, thanks. Yes, but having seen Step yeah. Up and Step Up 2, The Streets, I have somehow gotten invested in the girl whose name I don't know and Moose, who I remember because it's a stupid animal. Mm. Uh, like, I've gotten invested in their both of them, and it's like, oh man, now they're going to put them together? That's interesting and cool. Oh wait, clearly they want to talk about these pretty people that I do not care about. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, some of these people that aren't Moose, and that woman, uh, girl, I don't know how old she is. I'd say um, she's probably a woman. Yeah, but, well, by now, because yeah. it's 2010. Uh, by now, but, uh, they... Some of these people show up again. I think the twins show up again. I know the Asian girl shows up again. Uh, smiles. Who you know them when you see them. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, the ludicrous the Snoop Dogg baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he shows up, I think, again. I don't know about anybody else. The ma- the leads do not show up again. But uh, And Moose shows up goes. in like every other movie. So these people actually come back sometimes. But he does not hang out with his crew ever again. Yeah. <laughs> like... I think, and he gets, he like, Moose should keep showing up to new crews, which is very weird. And one of them was, like, a super, well, one of them, the one that was in, like, Miami, they just call him in, like, oh, like, I know a dude. Oh, like, I know this dude. So I'm going to call up this dude, and then he brings his crew from the other movies, and they have, like, a super delicious dance off with something to save the rec center. I don't really understand. I don't, I don't understand the plot of that movie. But, like, there's another one where he's like, I'm an engineer. Mm. And we're basically married, but we're not. And we both gave up dancing. Because uh, they keep giving up dancing. 
because she it's like it's one of them because everyone it's silly. I, I think it's because it. I like to think it's because the knees go, but they're like twenty five. Anyway, These kids nowadays they don't take care of themselves. They just they just they just let themselves go so fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then the uh, but then he gets pulled back in and makes a tape. Of course, or something. Of yeah, it's course. like the mafia. And then she's in it oh, too, yeah, I think. But that one was weird because they actually brought back the 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 lead, the female lead from the second one, in that last one, with a new dude, which is weird because they end up hooking up, but she hooked up with the other dude. From yeah. we don't talk about that anymore. Actually, shh, shh, shh. yeah, I, mean, shh. I can't. No, I don't think that the the dude was a dude from some other thing. I don't remember. But they bring a lot of other people in, and there's some some crazy thing. It's real dumb. Yeah. They're all dumb. I like I said, this is the best one. Yeah, I know the chick from the second one was in uh, that second Donnie Darko movie. She's also in other things. Yeah, and also she was in the Dustin Dawn, the the second season. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think I remember that. Because I was like, I was looking like this chick looks familiar. Why did she? Look? Oh yeah, she's from that stupid second stupid stupid whatever. Uh, she also from S Darko. Yeah, I never seen that. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. It's real weird. Because appara- it's basically like, it's basically a similar story, but with a smaller budget, so they don't have a giant uh, plane engine fall through a house. Yeah. But it's uh, but it's the sister. And no giant plane engines. Right. When you think about it, it's like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, what happened? Got crushed by a tri- giant plane engine. Uh, okay. I'm not, that's the beginning of the movie, by the way. <laughs> I'm not like giving away the end. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. So yeah. Step up three D or step up three D. Um, I don't know. I just I I love it, but it's terrible. Yeah. But I love it. It's a it's a, it's a guilty pleasure. It's a guilty pleasure because it is really dumb. Yeah. Because it doesn't make any sense, and I'm pretty sure those people are just like kind of have like all kind of inhalation problems now from A, the asbestos fight right. and B, just hanging out in the grossest carny folk back <laughs> back warehouses with like the oh this is the broken down bumper cars in the in the arcades nobody uses we're just gonna dance in here yeah because just cause cause they need space and the thing I don't understand about this movie is people just show up to dance like like that costs money like I don't live in Miami, so I gotta fly to Miami to dance for you. Like this, you gonna yeah. at least buy me lunch? Like, I'm a room and board free. Like, what? How much money do I have to chill out so I can make your crew look good, so you can not get the rec center shut down? Like, right. what do I have to do? This is loyalty. The, the loyalty they is don't, the cause of dance. They don't. I'm just saying they don't know these people. I know, but he <laughs> calls them. It's like, listen, dance. Moose made a phone call. We need to dance. He's like, I'm there. I'm I'm so there. I'm there. Oh, I don't know way, how I'm gonna get there, but I'm there. It's like yeah. by the way, in in the weird crime thing of again, the first two are set in Baltimore. In the first one, they kill a child. In the second one, they make it sound like the worst thing that happens in Baltimore is uh, people have flash mobs on trains. That made the news. Like, oh man, these people started dancing on a train. Yeah, not the the violence due to drugs and everything else. No. Or any of the other problems. Yeah. Any problems. Like, the, oh, the income issues. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. You know what it is? It's these kids, a lot of which are white, uh, just straight up showing up on trains and just dancing. Standing up and dancing. Yeah. By the way, they also committed a B&E. Oh, no, yeah, they, bro- they, they did break it. They, bro- they didn't steal anything. Uh, they left something behind. It was a dead fish, and it was in the ventilation system. Yeah, they're awesome. D-bags. Also, they filmed the entire thing, so technically you can take them to court because they just, you know... Committed a crime and they filmed it. Yeah. and then, But more than that, worse than that, they committed a crime, they filmed it, then they uploaded it to the internet. Because... Because you want to get caught. No, because in two, you have to prove yourself in some kind of weird dance way... Uh, to get into this invite-only dance competition. Right. And one of the ways they did it was to punk, because the girl, the lead, 
she was in that crew till she got bounced out because she got into trouble or something like that. So that's when she went to that school. And at school, she found a new crew involving all those other people. Uh, and then they, they formed a crew to join the dance thing. And then they needed to dance. Well, they wanted to dance, but then they needed the, the principal or whatever to see it. So they, A, I guess, they couldn't get expelled or got to still dance. I don't know what they did. Again, it was like, we need to do this to save our livelihoods. Or, like, to save our future endeavors in dance. I don't know why they did it. Mm. By the way, the, the chick from the from the second one in the, like, fifth one or whatever movie it is, uh, she's a makeup artist. So, good thing she got that, that career in dance. Mm. The degree in dance. Mm. She does makeup on, on models. Interesting. Until she leaves. Because she call it the dance. Moose the, showed up. The dance is power, dude. Moose so showed weird. up and said... Hey girl, you want to dance? Cause that's what he sounds like. Exactly what he sounds like. That was a spotless impression. Don't lie. Yeah, right. What is mother? Oh my god. <laughs> that is. You gotta watch out for them blacks. You're, oh, you're just walking into this man. Don't ever run for public office. All right, let's let's get the the heck out of here. All right, folks. Uh, Uno potato vids dot at gmail dot com. For uh, lovely emails and whatnot, if you want to do that, if you feel the need, I suggest you do. But what do I know? Maybe I'll check it. I think it's on my phone. Uh, <laughs> I totally, I totally will. I totally, I totally will. My computer yes, is like you will, dying. George, I, I will. we'll get back to you, George. Okay, it's just, just been busy. I don't know who George is. George is the guy you keep on like. Uh... Yeah, that's not his name. It's fine. It's fine. You totally slagged him off. But <laughs> like, look, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. All right. Lates. Bye.